Earth, we are exposed to radiation. Radiation coming from the sky and the space, and radiation coming from the ground, from the soil. Because in the soil, there are many natural radionuclides, uranium, thorium, and they send very powerful uh, radiation in the air, which are called gamma radiation. So, if we make a measurement of the radiation coming from the sky and the soil, we will have a figure. This figure can be counts per second. It means that if we measure, for example, 50 counts per second with a device, it means that at each second, 50 gamma radiation are entering into the device. And this radiation has a lot of energy. And when this energy interacts with our body, it, is, it may be harmful depending on the amount of energy, which is called the dose. So it's very useful to measure what is called the dose rate. And this dose rate is measured in micro sievert per hour. So for example, in this room, at this moment, we are in a natural situation. We have no artificial sources of radiation, no contamination of the soil, and if we measure the amount of gamma radiation in counts per second, we will get a value which is not zero. At this moment, we have about 50 to 80 counts per second. It is the natural ambient radiation in the laboratory, which we call background radiation. There are other devices, like this um, Geiger-Müller meter. It will also measure, measure the dose rate in microsievert per hour. It's small, so it will take a long time for him to count enough radiation, to accumulate enough dose, to give us a good measurement. So the measurement will take, let's say, two to four minutes. At this moment, we have 0 0.08 microsievert per hour. Now 0 0.12, 0 0.13, and I'm waiting for him to finish his counting cycle so that it will give us a sort of correct value. So the way it works is that this device called Radex, it will make a first evaluation, second, third, and fourth. And it will give us the mean value in a few minutes. When you measure background radiation, I mean small amounts of radiation, you have to wait for a few minutes in order to get a good evaluation. Because if you just r write down the first measurements, you see a big variability. At one second, you may measure 0.08, and then 10 seconds after, 0.13, and maybe after 0.05, etc. So you have to wait for the device to have good statistics, a good counting statistics, and it will take a few minutes. And this radix will, will help you to understand when he is okay, it's when he has um, finished this symbol on the screen.